The smiley face killer. Somebody tried to take credit for his first killing. Oh, and he was not, not having it. So then he's like, all right, I got to tell people. Literally wrote on a bathroom stall, hello, my name is, you know, Happy Face Killer. Like left proof so that they would know it was him and not this woman that claimed to be the killer. Why would you claim to be a killer? I don't know. Maybe she just wanted to be in prison because, you know, we all want shelter. So this guy. He wants all this attention, right? So he starts killing women from like 1980 to 1985. There were 666 leads, by the way, that led to the first body. That's what six, I'm six, six? That's the devil's number, did you guys know? That's huge. I know. What? You know, like people calling yeah. in and stuff. And you know what a lead okay, is? Okay, I know what a lead is. I just can't with it being 666 I know, leads. that's what I'm saying. So he's in Oregon, penitentiary now locked up for life oh my god he's alive he's alive yeah he's also canadian american do you have any canadian american friends yes what's the point of that i'm just saying canadian american killers you know i'm so glad he's locked up for life because this guy was all over the place california that's, that's where we are right now really bad florida of course Makes sense. Nebraska. I don't know anything about Wait Nebraska. a second. Okay, what? I need to know how this guy made a living. How did he have money to travel, hop on airplanes, or however he was getting there to kill these people? I have no idea, but look, I feel like someone who is that way doesn't need a lot of things. What did he need? His tools? That's terrible. Yeah. But his you murder know, tools? Probably just his little murder tool packet, and that was it, and he could hit the road. He was also in Oregon, which is where he's locked up now and Washington. Oh, and Wyoming. I just want to know what kind of person can commit all of these murders. A father. Can you believe he's a what? father? Yes. He is a father, he has a daughter, she wrote a book. Oh my God. Do you want to know what it's called? Yes. Sheltered Silence, The Untold Story of a Serial Killer's Daughter. That's a really long title. She really made it about herself though, did you notice? Does she visit him in prison? No. Does she call him? No. Does she write him letters? Nope. What if she sends him the book? Oh, you know, that probably happened. You think he feels attacked if I show him a happy face? He's gonna get angry. I hope not, don't anger him. <laughs> This seems like such an easy signature, the smiley face. Like, how do I know that the entire world is not running around just drawing and writing on walls? I mean, we could do that. I could go in the bathroom stall and, you know, draw a bunch of smiley faces right now. But I'm telling you, these are professionals, like FBI people, BAU, if you watch Criminal Minds. It seems like too much. I don't think he can cover that much ground. I mean, there were years. It wasn't like he did this in a weekend. What if it was just like him and a bunch of his friends and they were just like in different states doing it? No, you know? no, because again, the signature was exactly the same. And he's not gonna share this attention with his friends. He wants it all for himself. We are gonna agree to disagree, but let me tell you, it's one killer. And you guys can let us know in the comments what you think, but I'm pretty sure it's one killer and Maria thinks it was a group of people. Thank you so much for watching Conspiracy Central. We'll see you guys next time.